We've been doing a lot of stuff today. This room used to be a big old storage room and now we're emptying it all out and this is gonna be the new bug room. So in a future video, I guess, I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour of it once we get it all set up. It's gonna be really nice to have a room dedicated to it again that has a door that can close. <laughs> so, huzzah. This is the before and also after. There was so much stuff in here, man. It's so weird to see the floor in here. So, yeah. All right, so I'm not gonna do like a full room tour or anything right now, but I thought I'd give you guys a little tease. It's also very not done, but whoa, there's so much going on in here. Whoa, look at all the bugs. There's so many bugs. <laughs> That's all you get. I, I will do a full room tour when we have it all set up though. That might take a bit though, because we might wanna move things from like this rack to like that rack or something like that. We'll figure it out. Either way, I'll, I'll probably try to do an entire video on it. Maybe two. I don't know. We'll do like a room tour and then like a full collection breakdown or something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, it's been a while. Um, a lot has happened and you'll get to see in this video. It's currently January and... <laughs> Last time I uploaded a vlog was, what, two, three months ago? Well, sometimes life is like a box of trash, and it likes to rip when you're carrying it down your carpeted stairs and go all over the place, you know? Some, sometimes life do be like that, so thank you for your patience. Anyways... There's a lot going on, even though there's not a whole lot going on, and of course I have to cook something. I've been trying to eat more vegetables. I already love vegetables, but, you know, vegetables, fruit, and whatnot. Um, I guess this is all technically fruit. Huh. Either way, I've been trying to eat a lot more just healthier food, so, you know. It's delicious, at least. I'm just, I'm a good cook. Ha ha. So I'm feeling a little bit festive this year because I've never really, uh, I've never really gotten into the whole decorating thing, especially when it comes to the different seasons. I've never been a big holiday person. However, this fall I'm feeling particularly different, I guess, because I picked up these. <laughs> I, I got several of these, so I figured I would at least make my background for, like, my Twitch streams uh, look nice. I don't know. I have always loved the look of these decorative little fruits, but, you know, I've never really actually positioned them, so maybe, maybe I'll, I'll figure it out and we'll, we'll see how it looks. Like, these are just... So cute, right? Like, look at that. Look at that little guy. Look at that. It just looks like a, like a witch's nose. There. I'm festive. <laughs> I should have gotten like three times as many. <laughs> no, this is good. I don't want it to be all totally covered. I don't know. I think this looks kind of nice, though. At least to a degree. Here, there we go. That's a little more stable. How does it look from, from your side? Festive. <laughs> kind of. I've, I've got a dust again. That's the one good thing about not having too many things, is that you can take them off very easily and you can dust. I'm gonna have to be dusting once a week, aren't I? Man, getting your shit together is busy. There's always something going on in the invertebrate room. And no, I won't stop throwing random invertebrates into my vlogs. It's a part of my life. And it should be. You know? Little bits of my life. Like tarantula mating. That's a totally normal thing, right? Super, super, super normal. <laughs> And 
Cookie is in for the winter now. Had to give her a big old bath. I always give it to her on the back deck. Sorry, you can't really see it. Uh, it, it it's getting dark real early now. But she's very clean, as you'll see in a moment. Look at that sheen. That shiny piggle. She had to sniff the entire house to see what was going on. POV, you just fed a pig and she wants more. I've also been drinking green drinks. They're pretty awesome. And always tea. Always, always tea. And of course, now that Cookie's in, she has to take her rightful place right in the way of, uh, you know, everything that she possibly can, especially if it happens to be in the kitchen where I'm working with food. And to my surprise, um, Bing didn't throw up immediately when she smelled the durian that I got. She actually really wanted some. But I imagine it's probably not very good for cats to eat. She definitely would have eaten it if I gave her the chance, though. Odin, your eyes are so beautiful. And I had to put this clip in in its entirety because it's just way too cute. Way too cute. Oh my goodness. But I guess I'll take a second to let you guys know, um, the, the, around this time I was dealing with some severe anemia issues, having trouble staying awake, a lot of bad brain fog, and I just, I, I was really not well. I had to double up my iron and just really relax and try to not overwork myself. It was kind of scary and not good. <laughs> felt horrible. Like uh, this next little clip coming up, which happened at the tail end of that major thing. Very fun. I'm really sick right now. It's incredible how in the span of two days, I can't get some takeout. The kitchen can get so messy. I'm just making some noodles with garlic and onion. Making tea, and I'm just gonna play some video games <coughs> and try not to die. So I've been sick on and off with different shit for the last like month. So if there's not a lot of exciting stuff in this vlog, it's because I've been trying not to die. <laughs> so stop talking now. I just wanted to get you in the moment. <laughs> Frig. Just wanted to get you in the moment. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure I have strep throat. Um, decided to relax a little. I lit some candles. They smell really nice. They're like pear and green apple or something like that. They're really nice. <coughs> but I figured I'll take today, like the last few days, for some self-care stuff, so. Got my tea. My noodles are really, the bowl's really hot. I'm not picking that up, but it's over there. The pig is very upset that I'm sick. <clears throat> but 
you know, I just have a cozy room. It's a mess on that side, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but at least if I turn around, it looks okay. <laughs> There's so many tea mugs and fucking just so much stuff all over my my freaking desk. I'm gonna have a hell of a time cleaning up after myself. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> At least it's like nine degrees out, so it's fairly warm. Gets into the negatives at night now. But yeah. Cozy room. I'm gonna go try and feel better. Maybe I can take up some footage for you guys. But <laughs> yeah. I'm so good at this. <laughs> Fuck. So, as you can tell, I was quite sick. And uh, I stayed quite sick for a while. I think after the anemia issues that I was dealing with, my immune system just kind of shot itself and... So... It hit me really hard. There was a point where I couldn't talk for like a week after that. And that sucked because, you know, I, I liked streaming on Twitch a lot. But, you know, sometimes, like I said, big trash breaking open, going down the stairs. But um, I'm doing a little better now, just dealing with some leftover anxiety from Odin's surgery. I'm not really a big fan of baths, but it's become sort of like a medicinal thing for me. It really gets my heartbeat racing, and then I usually have a cold shower after, and then I make a tea or something. But it's kind of nice to just sit for a bit. And then the snow came. And oh lord, did it snow. some more centipedes so that's been pretty awesome this one's just a wee baby it's gonna get potentially a foot long and two inches wide and we've been making good use of our new room it's a lot more put together now than it was months ago but it has been an absolute blessing this it's been great having a room to just focus on them and just work, work, work when we have to. Gigi's finally warmed up to centipedes a little bit more, so it's not just me being obsessed with them and him being like, Bleh. They're uh, one of my favorite animals of all time, so I'm really glad that I've got a collection. And then we've been babysitting this pupper. This isn't my dog, but she's been a sweetie. We just can't have her near the cats because she'll, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> so uh, she's a good girl, though. She's a good girl. And Odin with uh, his catnip. Those claws hurt, by the way. Those claws digging into my skirt. Those hurt really, really bad. They were very sharp. I clipped them right after filming these. But he had a great time. So I guess that helps. But oh, that hurt. Look at him, he's just holding onto my leg. Entirely my fault. Like, I, I was only hurting because it was me trying to get him to climb my skirt. But, oh, God. Never again.
it's officially properly winter. <laughs> you know, I actually have to scrape ice off my car. Great. Love it. Love this for me. I mean, I guess it's, it's almost December. ready for spring already you know it's cold it's very cold out but on the bright side, this little guy is pretty cute. Also not mine, but he's very cute. I remember when I got my first mantis shrimp, she was a peacock mantis shrimp and she was the coolest thing. I would love to get another one one day. I, I really genuinely miss them. They're such good pets. They're so interactive and interesting. to spend the holidays with my family, small gatherings, and we're all vaccinated. And I got to see my dad again, which was really nice. Wait, they made their way in now. The little tom catfish, the ones that only get like this big, or are they uh, big? No, they, I guess they got, oh, that's, yeah, that's... yeah, they were getting a fair size. I mean, I imagine they would get bigger if it was a larger pond too, right? We would pellet feed them, We'd stand on the dock. Oh yeah, throw all, they'd all come out. About a hundred of them would come like, oh, like yeah, this. Oh yeah, yeah, And they'd be able to cool. at it, right? That's a little call duck, the little tiny one. Yep. Yeah, look at that little call duck, hun. Uh, didn't know what to oh, do. You trying to open and up my pockets? Animals, so. We ended yeah. up with five more ducks. There you go. I'm sure ten ducks, twenty ducks, it doesn't make too much of a difference. No. Well, uh, pretty soon, like, I, I put a pen up around that side there because it's going to be too cold in that pond to freeze. Oh. That's good eggs and good meat. Uh, Right there. Very friendly. Yeah, he's very, yeah. very friendly. Sure. You have food, you, you'll have a friend for life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. I'm trying to get a peacock video while he's out. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's Yeah, exactly. <laughs> shoes. It was really cool uh, getting to see my dad again in his dagger and sword collection. 
and all the furniture that my grandparents had when I was growing up. It's surreal to see it again, all this beautiful hundred-year-old hardwood furniture. It's so gorgeous, a complete matching set. Probably be worth over a hundred thousand dollars now. It's ancient and just so beautiful and intricate. And here's poor little Odin. He uh, hasn't been doing super well. Um, this was when I first brought him to the hospital, unfortunately. So I haven't really felt up to recording anything recently. Um, hi, babe. Because Odin's in the hospital right now. Um, I've just sort of been really upset the last, like, well, ever since he started being sick. That's rubbing on here. You'll have to deal with that. Um, so, I guess, I mean, as of the time I, I post this, there will be a, a final answer as to what happened to Odin. But as of right now, he's, um, I, I paid for the deposit for his surgery, and um, I'm just waiting. So he'll be going into surgery shortly. And then when he gets out, um, they're going to give me a call and let me know how everything went. And they'll probably hold on to him for at least 24 hours, maybe 48 hours. Oh, gosh, bang, Jesus. She's really needy. She misses Odin really, really badly. She's been super, super needy and running around the house crying, looking for him. <gasps> yes, sweetie. So, she's just rubbing her head on my hand, which is holding the phone. <laughs> Sorry about all the shaking. This is nice. I can I can pet Bang with my hand, and then my arm here is petting Little Moon. It's it's a good system. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can hear her purring. But she needs the attention too. So. I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on over here or recorded or whatever. I don't know. I've, I've been so sick and just having a really bad last few months, so that's why this vlog took a zillion years to come out. My life has really been in, in disarray. Um... And I've just been unwell and not able to do, like, my hobbies, really. So that's pretty much it. Well, I don't want to take up too much time in this, but um, I'm hoping in the new year I'll be able to start... Oh, gosh, babe. She's getting so aggressive with it. She needs love. I'm hoping that in the new year, or at least in, like, the spring... I'll be able to record some more stuff for more vlogs. I just I honestly haven't really been doing much either because it's winter here in Canada, but it's been like awkwardly warm. It's not very often that it's in the negatives, which is very strange. Like we do get mild winters, but it's very warm. Like there were a few days where it was like 15, 16 degrees out in December and that's not right, so. Anyways, I'm going to try and get some sleep because I didn't really sleep last night or the night before or the night before that. I, um, I've just been so worried about Odin that any sleep I have is plagued by like night terrors or um, just not able to sleep. So I'm hoping but they gave me good news. They gave me good news. His levels are pretty good. He's a good candidate for surgery. They're optimistic about it, and um, they think that surgery will go well. I don't want to get into too much detail about it right now. I'll probably do a 
maybe, I don't know, if you guys want a more detailed video talking about Odin's health issue, then I can do that, but I don't think it's entirely necessary. I just want him to get better. So, I'm gonna try and sleep because I haven't really done a whole lot of that. Um, yeah. So this is Odin, a couple days after that last part. He did come home after about 48 hours. Um, he was very dopey and the girls were very curious. They've kind of been treating him poorly. They've been hissing at him, a little scared of him. Maybe they just think he's sick and they don't want to get sick too, but... He's getting better every single day. He's been home for about a week now as of recording this voiceover. And he's already sick of being a blanket kitty. He's uh, trying to run around the house, so I have to try and keep him confined, but he's otherwise been alright. Turns out he ate like 20 hair elastics and they clumped up in his intestines. Um, they sent me a picture. It was really gross. Uh, so that was that was yucky. But he's getting better. He's already trying to eat plastic again. So you know he's on the mend. Um, I uh, yeah, he's he's got a scar going all up along his belly, and his he's got trouble breathing because they had a tube down his nose, and there's some scar tissue inside. But he's making do. He's uh, back to cuddling in my arms every single night. I think he really missed being home. But everybody at the hospital loved him, so that's good that he was in good arms. Anyways, thank you for being patient on this video, and if you're still here, then uh, thank you very much for watching to the end. And I hope that the next video that I put out won't be as upsetting as this one. <laughs> so... Have a lovely day. See ya.